good evening to you out there. This is African Free Press Television, where we report Africa from a refreshing perspective. My name is Leo Ogeta, bringing you stories in the news this week. President Mohamed Buhari embarked on a vacation today, February the 5th, which is billed to end on Wednesday, February the 10th. The information was released by the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Gaba Shehu, through his Twitter page. While the President is on vacation, Vice President Professor Yemi Osibanjo will step in his shoes and perform the functions of the President. Uh, Shehu equally revealed that in compliance with the Section 145, subsection 1 of the Nigerian Constitution, President Buhari is, has dispatched a formal notice of his vacation to the Senate President and the Speaker of the House of Representatives. And Senate President Bukola Saraki today had his appeal seeking to stop his trial at the Code of Conduct Tribunal dismissed by the Supreme Court of Nigeria. In the late judgment taken by Justice Walter Samuel Onohen, the court held that the CCT was properly constituted to exercise jurisdiction over Saraki's trial. It also resolved the issue of whether the tribunal had jurisdiction to try criminal matters and issue bench warrants against Saraki. And about 65 people last week were killed and another 70 injured after suspected Boko Haram insurgents launched a night attack on Dalore village on the outskirts of Maiduguri, Bono State. The casualty figures came from villagers and aid workers while the media coordinator of Operation Lafia Dola Theatre Command, Mustafa Anka, who confirmed the attack, did not give casualty figure at that time. However, Mr. Anka said the attackers who came to the village in two golf saloon cars targeted members of the local vigilance group, the civilian JTF. Mr. Anka also said the motive of the insurgents was to penetrate the Dalori IDP camp, but said the attempt was resisted by soldiers, which resulted into detonation of improvised explosive devices by the suicide bombers. The Akiti State Governor, Mr. Ayodele Fayoshi, has berated President Mohamed Buhari for his criticisms of the country's judiciary saying the president should respect the principles of separation of powers. In a statement released by his special assistant on public communications and new media, Larry Olainka, on Monday, Mr. Fayeshi advised President Buhari to allow the judiciary to do its job. He said that the president should obey court orders and focus on proper prosecution of people accused of corruption rather than castigating the judiciary and making the arm of government to appear as the stumbling block in his fight against corruption. The governor also expressed doubts on the claims by uh, the federal government that it had defeated Boko Haram, urging the president to tell Nigerians the truth. The Supreme Court of Nigeria has affirmed the governors Abiola Ajimobi of Oyo, Ifani Oko of Delta, and Ibrahim Keidam of Yobe States can now concentrate fully on governance as they were all validly elected as chief executives of their various states on Tuesday. The Supreme Court, which is at the highest in Nigeria, dismissed the petition filed against the election of Governor Ajimobi by al Haji Rashid Laduja, a former governor of the state and a court party governorship candidate in the 2015 gubernatorial election. The court dismissed the petition for lack of merit. Laduja had earlier last lost an attempt to overturn Ajimobi's victory in the 2015 gubernatorial election at the election petition tribunal and at the appeal court. The justices of the Supreme Court, in a unanimous decision, also dismissed the appeal against the elections of Delta State Governor Ifanyo Kor. The Apex Court described the appeal by Emeho Ortega of the All Progressive Congress and Great Oboru of Labour Party against Governor Kor's election as an abuse of court process. Similarly, the court affirmed the election of Governor Kedam of Yubi State. The justices said, stated, they would give the reasons for the three judgments on February the 15th. And the Supreme Court has equally affirmed the election of Udom Emanuel as governor of Akwaibom State and that of Adia State, Okizi Ibazo. In the ruling on Wednesday, the court said Governor Emanuel won the lawfully cast votes, setting aside the earlier ruling of the two lower courts. The Supreme Court also upheld Governor Emanuel's appeal challenging the cancellation of the results of the elections held in 13 local governments. Similarly, Justice Suleiman Kaladima, who delivered the late judgment with respect to the Abia State Governorship poll, also heard that Ibiazu's appeal succeeded. The Supreme Court affirmed the Governor's declaration as winners of the April 11, 2015 Governorship 
election by the Independent National Electoral Commission. Moreover, the Supreme Court has reserved till February 15th to give the reasons for its decisions with respect to the Akwai Bomb appeal, while uh, the reasons for the Adjia State Governorship election has been reserved till February the 26th. And now on the foreign scene, South Africa's President Jacob Zuma has agreed to repay some of $23 million the government controversially spent on upgrading his private rural home. In 2014, a report by the public prosecutor said Mr. Zuma had benefited unduly from the upgrades. Mr. Zuma said the Auditor General and Finance Minister should determine how much he should repay to end the dispute. The announcement comes a week before the constitutional hearing on the matter. The refurbishment of the residence in the village of Nkandla in Mr. Zuma's home province of KwaZulu Natal has turned into a major political controversy in South Africa. Some of the money was spent on building an amphitheater, swimming pool, and cattle enclose, enclosure. And the Opposition Democratic Alliance and Julius Malema's Economic Fight Freedom Fighters, EFF, who have called for a corruption investigation, say they are pressing ahead with the court case regardless of the president's latest offer. And now in sports, Manchester City striker Sergio Aguero and Southampton manager Ronald Koeman have been named the Premier League's player and manager of the month respectively. Both completed individual hat tricks after winning the Barclays Award for the third time. Five goals and one assist in January helped Aguero to claim the Barclays Player of the Month Award for a third time. The previous occasion were in October 2013 and November 2014. Aguero, who won the Barclays Gold in boot last season, scored once against Watford and twice each against Crystal Palace and West Ham United in January 11. He completed 70 successive passes and had a shooting accuracy of 57% in his 349 minutes played in the month. The 27-year-old Argentinian beat Sunderland's German Defoe, Liverpool forward Roberto Firmino, Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Dele Alli, the Leicester City goalkeeper Kaspar Schmeichel, and Southampton's Virgil van Dijk to the award. Coman is the only Dutchman to have won the award and scooped his third Barclays manager of the month trophy thanks to victories by Southampton over Watford, West Bromwich Albion, and Manchester United in January. He peeped Man City manager Manuel Pellegrini, West Ham's Slevan Village, and sports head coach Mauricio Pochettino to the accolade, which he previously won in September 2014 and January 2015. And these are the stories coming from news this week. For more, please do log on to our website at www.africanfreepress.com. Follow us on Twitter at African Free Press. Join us in our discussions on various interesting forums at African Free Press Forum, like our Facebook page at africanfreepress.com, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at African Free Press. My name is Lee Oketa. Enjoy your weekend.